FM Yendi, Castle FM Cape Coast, Laura FM Laura and Radio Max Takrade. Get radio TV and online content on the MyJoyOnline.com interactive app for Android and iOS devices. This morning, opposition NDC vows to hit the streets if the controversial legislative instrument seeking to restrict import of rice and other items is not abandoned. We will do everything within our power to stop it from being laid. If they succeed in getting it laid, we move to the streets. The Allies, meanwhile, expected to be laid in Parliament today to begin its journey of becoming law within three weeks. Also, there will be no doom so this Christmas. That's the assurance from government following prediction of power crisis um, over threats from some independent power producers to cut supply of the mountain debts. Uh, but I can assure you that um, the suggestion that we're going to some um, power outages over the Christmas period is not borne by the fact on the ground. In business. Committee working on Ghana's external debt restructuring to hold crunch meeting in Europe this week following China's concerns about its debt cut-off date. We've got details on the Joy Business Report. And later, Edujama students develop gaming app to educate kids on combating corruption. My friend is doing this so I must report so that it will not lead to corruption. Children from 6 to 16, they are more curious and we love to learn about what is happening around the world. So when they grow with this, it will help them not to practice this which will help them be patriotic citizens in Ghana. And also in this bulletin, Ghana Tourism Authority discloses that this year's December activities will span across the entire country, bringing a new twist to the traditional Christmas celebrations. In the western region, you have so many events lined up, central region, so many events, Ashanti, northern region. These are more with me, Mamiusi Nyamiche Thompson. This is Joy News, independent, fearless and credible journalism. The National Democratic Congress has served notice it will mobilize to hit the streets if the import restrictions bill is allowed to stand. The legislative instrument is expected to be laid in Parliament this week despite the massive opposition to it from many quarters. Speaking to Raymond Akwa, an upfront National Communications Officer of the NDC, Sami Jainfi, explained that they will leave no stone unturned in their fight against the proposed law. We will do everything within our power to stop it from being laid. If they succeed in getting it laid, we'll move to the streets, we'll move to the people, we'll rally the people together, people from all walks of life. And this is a matter that unites us. There are MPP people who are into importation, mm. they are into trading and all that, and this is going to collapse their business. We're going to rally everybody together, and we are going to ensure that this law is dropped. Well, last week, the Speaker, Alban Bagwin, gave the green light for the instrument to be laid today, following some concerns of building. I'm imprisoned. As a leader, I had the opportunity of advising ministers and public servants on some of these instruments, and they did not listen to me. They were laid and passed. And at the end of the day, those instruments caught up on them. So what we're doing is not just a politics. It's real-life situation. I will plead with the minister that in spite of my earlier uh, promise to him, he should make available copies of the instrument to the subsidiary legislation committee for them to ensure, as the majority leader also stated, some of those amendments that were agreed upon have been taken on board. Then we can lay the instrument and move on with it. We stay in Parliament a while longer where Chairman of the Constitutional and Legal Affairs Committee, Kwame Enyemedu Entry, has cast doubt on the anti-LGBTQ bill consideration before Parliament rises for the Christmas break, insisting it is not a priority now. Apart from that, he says there are new developments that, with the law, that needs to be addressed at the committee level before it can progress any further. The bill we have unanimously presented it before the House and it's at the consideration stage. At any rate, they will give preference to the budget issues. Otherwise, we cannot do appropriation. But the main reason why I think the proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian family uh, values bill cannot be prosecuted now is that there is an issue that has been raised and we need to sit again as a committee and iron out that those crises before we can do the consideration. 
But the Ningo Prampram MP St. George expressed his fury about what he describes as a deliberate delay. Is hopeful that the Speaker, Alban Bagwin himself, will give the bill the needed attention. Now, government is allaying fears of a possible doomso or outage, power outage during the yieldtide, as is being predicted by sources within the energy industry. According to Deputy Energy Minister Andre Jepamesa, the inability of ECG to settle all its debts um, in the energy sector is due to a number of take or pay obligations and excess capacity that is not captured in the tariff mechanism. He reveals the ministry has held various discussions with some independent power producers and government is expected in the coming weeks to structure a payment plan with the IPPs in order to help keep the power on. Uh, last weekend during the statutory public holiday, uh, we had meetings with two of them. Uh, we've concluded to a large extent the discussions. Uh, Solar and sodium others are still uh, in the works. Uh, but I can assure viewers that um, the suggestion that we're going to some power outages over the Christmas period is not borne out by the facts on the ground. We've had uh, substantial discussions with these IPPs. Well, on its own, the state enterprises in the energy sector, Mr. Mesa explained that despite ECG's inability to collect the targeted revenue a month, it is obliged to pay the private IPPs first before the state owned ones. The revised cash waterfall mechanism uh, assumed some 1 billion collections per month. Uh, ECG was able to do, I believe, one or two months, and subsequently they've been unable to uh, collect as much. Okay. Uh, also, because we put in a tiered system, whereof the private app IPPs have been put in tier one, and every month ECG has to pay them, I believe, forty-three million dollars equivalent. Whatever that is left out of whatever is collected that is distributed across the the state-owned IPPs. To turn politics now, Deputy General Secretary of the Governing New Patriotic Party, Harina Mohammed, has refuted claims that flag bearer Dr. Mahmoud Baumia submitted names of possible running mates to the National Council for consideration. The National Council on Tuesday met with the National Executive Committee and the party's flag bearer to discuss who will partner him as running mate for the 2024 general elections, but the meeting ended inconclusively as Dr. Baumia asked for more time to submit names. The instructor did not come to the meeting with any uh, of these names because if he had come, he would have been triggering Article 1331, where he has to come with a candidate. It did not say candidates. So he says that he still needs more time to uh, consult before he can bring a candidate. So definitely there was no name that was proposed to us. He never came with a list. He did not come with any list. He came with time ex- extension and National Council was unanimous on that uh, uh, request. Ghana ranks as the 72nd least corrupt nation out of 180 countries globally, according to the 2022 Corruption Perception Index. An independent office was established as an effort to reduce corruption and its related activities, but the country seems not to have tamed the influence of corruption. Interestingly, some students at Edujama in the Shantu region have developed a gaming app to educate children against the negative impacts of corruption. Emmanuel bright reports for Tech Thursday. The computer game application is designed to test the knowledge base of its users by providing answers to questions related to corruption and its impact. The app also seeks to educate students on waste management in a practical way. Students of Celestial Hope Educational Complex at Edujama are the brains behind the app. We go to the quiz mode, which is about the corruption. So let's go to the quiz mode. So here, a local charity collector, this is a corruption a question. So it will be given time. So you must choose the right answer. So maybe you saw your friend Sammy collecting uh, answers or p- taking pictures of the answers. So is it correct or wrong? So when you choose the correct correct answer, then you say, oh, so when I'm in class and my friend is doing this, so I must report so that it will not lead to corruption. Children from 6 to 16, they are more curious and would love to learn about what is happening around the world. So when they grow with this, it will help them not to practice this, which will help them be future citizens. 
In our Dirty December series, we focus on decentralizing events in this month. Now, many a times, there's a bit of confusion when it comes to how most events have been centralized in the cities, especially Accra. CEO of the Ghana Tourism Authority, Akwesi Ajiman, says this year's activities will span across the entire country, bringing a new twist to the traditional celebrations. Jacqueline and Sumaya has more. For some time, big Christmas events have been centered in Accra. Many regions feel left out. To address the situation, the Ghana Tourism Authority promises this time around things will be different. Akusia Jaman is the Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Tourism Authority. This year, we went out of our way to engage a lot of the event organizers. And so, unlike previous editions, this is the first time that we, we will say we've covered almost every region in the country. But... Obviously, the bulk is still in Accra. In the western region, you have so many events lined up. Central region, so many events. Ashanti, northern region. For the first time, we have more than three events lined up. December GH is work in progress. And that was Jacqueline and Sumaya Boa's report ending the bulletin in our top story opposition NDC vows to hear the streets see the controversial legislative instrument seeking to restrict import of rice and other items is not abandoned. I'm Mamisi Nyamiche Thompson. Business is next on the Super Mamiche.